Yo, what is up all you GBA type people? It's Sug here with a coach interview for one of the new coaches in GBA Season 9 Rebooted. I am here with the coach of your New York Empoleon, Koldoa Dragon. Hello everyone and welcome. It is my technically second first and a half appearance in the GBA, so I'm super <laughs> excited to be back. Um, and hopefully this season does not end like last one did. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hope that the hacks doesn't run rampant. So let's get right into the questions. Goldoa, when did you start playing Pokemon? Uh, I have been playing Pokemon since Pokemon Yellow. Uh, my dad got it for me for Christmas, the same time that he got my sister blue and himself red, and all of us Game Boy colors. That must have been probably Christmas of 1999. Um, and I've been playing since then. I somehow acquired all of their games and all of their Game Boys because they stopped playing. Uh, and then I also got Gen 2, uh, I got Gen 3 when it first came out, and then I kind of fizzled for a little while, didn't play Gen 4 or 5 when they first came out, came back into it in Gen 6, then went back and played Gen 5, still have never beaten Gen 4, um, so I'm trying to do that right now, doing a Nuzlocke, a Platinum Nuzlocke race with a couple guys right now to try to actually say I can be the champion of every region, um, but yeah, so I've been playing since 99, been playing for 20 years now, um, but in and out throughout that. Cool, cool, cool. So, how long have you been playing League format? I started my own league, uh, which was actually which was the TBL, which is the league that I still run, although it was technically the PGBA the first week of existence, and then it switched over to the TBL in week two. Uh, I started that, I think, the end of 2017, um, but it, I really didn't do much with it. I did that for two seasons before I ever even considered joining another league. Um, and so I really started doing like more leagues and expanding my horizons within league format somewhere in the middle of 2018, uh, probably about March or June, March or April of 2018. So not that long, <laughs> about a year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is your preferred play style? Um, interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say anything, uh, from balanced offense to balanced defense which is not much, I guess. It's just balance. Um, but I can't say that because I get critted all the time. So uh, my most preferred play style is not getting critted if I can, um, and otherwise <laughs> just uh, reacting to, to what happens and hoping to, to pull out a win in the end game. Nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what Pokemon are you looking for or wanting to use this upcoming Ubers format? Um, well, obviously, I've never drafted an Uber before, so Diaga is super fun. Um just looking at its stats and its move pool is absolutely ridiculous. It's like, how is this even possible, having played in a bunch of, you know, OU and below leagues, um, or just standard, you know, tier one league format where that kind of thing is banned. It's like, this is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, most of the other Mons on my team, I've drafted at some point. Um, I've actually never drafted Scrafty or Crobat before, though, so I'm actually pretty excited to use those as well. Cool, cool. Uh, if you could meet any celebrity, who would it be and why? Joel? Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, honestly, this question's a little bit tougher. I, there's, I've had some funny stories of either myself or people I know meeting celebrities. Um, Amanda being like, yeah, this time that like Bill Clinton just showed up at my house one time. I was like, wait, what? Um, so that kind of thing. I met, uh... Barack Obama's brother-in-law, Michelle Obama's brother, once, uh, and he told me that I would be a good basketball player. I was an eighth grader. I'm the same height, where I was uh, shorter than I am now, and I'm only 5'10 now. So I don't think he knew what he was talking about, but he was the basketball coach at Princeton. Um, so Obama would probably be a cool one to actually meet and get a chance to talk to. He's such a good speaker. It's honestly like, <laughs> just be, I just like listening to him speak, you know? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is the most heat that you've ever brought and had it work? Oh, it has to have worked? Okay. Had to have worked. Okay. I I've been thinking about this question. I actually posed it to the TBL coach chat and tried to get some responses of things that they remembered that I'd done before. Uh, and so I think the winner is going to be HP Ice Gigalith, um, which I brought against Melon in week eight of the GBA D League as a uh, Zygarde bait. Um... It was minus special attack nature, uh, <laughs> hidden power ice, gigalith, and it basically just broke a substitute. It did about 40% max to a Zygarde, uh, but it always broke sub. So if he tried to set up a sub, he just loses 25 HP, 25% HP, and I get to freely break it. If he doesn't, I'm doing almost 50%, and we're good. 
Uh, and it, he brought his Zygarde in on my Gigalith, I popped his substitute, and then he switched out into Cavalian, which I did not predict, and immediately clicked HP Ice into Cavalian, which did nothing. Um, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, that, that set was also right after I had dropped Excadrill, and I was countering his Zard Y with Sand uh, from my Gigalith. So that Gigalith was twofold. It was counter Zard Y's Sun, as well as bait in the Zygarde. Awesome. <laughs> and I won with a with a scarf Zard Y clicking solar beam at the end of it with my ditto. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that battle was wild. All right. Uh, outside of Pokemon, what do you do for fun? I play competitive ultimate, ultimate frisbee, um, and I play that mostly in the summers. But otherwise, obviously, it's just kind of like working out and getting in shape for the summers. Um, Obviously, I play, well, I don't, I don't know about obviously, but I've been hanging out with Amanda a lot, and we both love board games, so we play a whole lot of board games. Um, I have, I don't know if it's fun, but I just got accepted to uh, an MBA program starting in the fall, so I'll be doing that, which will be chaos and busy as heck, because it's part-time MBA, plus a full-time job, plus Ultimate, plus Pokemon, plus, you know, streaming and YouTube. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> well, that's really interesting. Is that is that enough things, or should I add more? I could go on. I have so many like <laughs> little hobbies that I just pull, like do every once in a while. <laughs> well, let's let's move on to the next question. Maybe if you have time at the end. Sure. Uh, what coach are you looking forward to playing the most? So, I would say Tom, except I don't play Tom. Uh, and the reason that I would say Tom is because Tom and I have been scheduled to fight two slash three fights so far uh and none of them have panned out we actually haven't ever gotten to actually battle um so i've never battled tom before so in terms of actually someone that i am fighting i think envy um just because envy brings such crazy things and he does such you just never know what he's gonna do and i'd love to see the way that he like reacts to my kind of sets and my kind of play style all right cool uh, how do you feel about the fan base you gained on your, quote, magical run through the GBA D-League? <sighs> oh, God. Um, the f I was shocked, honestly, that people even... Well, one, I was shocked that I got accepted in the first place. But then, two, that people actually supported me and wanted me to succeed, especially after losing the first two weeks. Um, but coming back, playing it out, um, that was the first time I'd ever had a front office. Um, that was the first time I ever really, like... Put myself out there in terms of having a much bigger fan base uh when the gba d league started i had like 71 subscribers and i gained something like 150 during the course of the the d league which like tripled the size of my youtube channel which was crazy um and the support was absolutely incredible so how do i feel i feel very positively <laughs> the people are good people and they had, you know we had fun um people were very intrigued to see the kind of sets that i was bringing um, which were always a little bit out there, um, but were effective. They were working um, until I started getting hacked at the end of the season a lot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was, I think that honestly, it's it was a really fun ride and it ended in a way that was less than ideal, but the fan base was kind of what allowed me to, to move past that and give the GBA another chance. Cool. <laughs> All right, uh, what is a place... Uh, what's your favorite place to get a bite to eat in your home region? Um, so there's a little Chinese restaurant that's like right in my hometown from from where I grew up. Literally three minute drive from my house, um, and it is they recent. So they used to know my like whole family's order. We just walk in, they'd give us a table, they'd bring out food, and it was great. Uh, it was really really good Chinese food. Um, they recently started doing sushi as well, so they've opened up a sushi bar there. Um, they've expanded the little little shop. It's still like a one-off, like not a chain or anything like that. It's just a little place. Um, it's called China Cuisine, and it's like on Main Street. It's if you ever end up in Northern Mass and you look it up. Um, but it's yeah, it was absolutely delicious food, and it's fun to have someone who just kind of knows you and just like is able to be like, oh yes, this is like your family's order, and like this is what we want, and. It was, I mean, they gave us free food all the time, and it was, it was so good. It was a nice little place. That's awesome. And the last question for the base round, uh, what's your Twitch? Twitch.tv slash Goldoa Dragon. Aw, yeah. <laughs> Did I do it? Did all I right. answer it correctly? Yes, sir, Ten points? indeed. <laughs> Ten points for Gryffindor. Yes! Except I'm a Slytherin, <laughs> but that's fine. 
Oof, yikes. <laughs> Ravenclaw myself. All right, so now let's go into the speed round. So these are going to be the first things that pop into your head with the answers. So uh, do you understand that? Sure. Eyes are closed. Sure. Cool. <laughs> uh, what Pokemon is the lowest base defense stat? Ch Chansey? Yep. What Pokemon have you had the most success with? Ditto. Did you get sniped in the draft? Is yes. What mon? Alolan Muck. <laughs> are you, uh, you're on any game show you want. Which show are you on? Whammy. How many quarts are in a gallon? Four. And blue or pink Gastrodon? Blue. Good answers. <laughs> Good answers. I feel like we're on, uh, oh, what's that show? Not Price is Right, though. One hosted by Steve Harvey. A Family Feud? Yes, I feel like you saw on that answering the last six questions <laughs> I was, yet. Yeah, it was like eyes closed, just like focus. You, obviously, I don't have a face cam on right now, but like yeah. I was so <laughs> focused on the answers. <laughs> well, that is awesome. I think that is going to do it for our interview today, guys. Be sure to check out Gold Door Dragon. His links will be down in the description below. Check out all the GBA Season 9 coaches as well. And with that, I'm going to get on out of here today, guys. Gold Door, do you have any last words? Thanks for the interview, and I'm super excited to... Uh... Well, get the season started, honestly. Alrighty, well, that's been us today, guys, and peace out, Scouts. Bye, everybody.